Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Almighty Reverend Ace Dallas, you are one of those false prophets. And that is why I took the book of Ace when you and the toxic king Rico Hendricks met in Red Lion on September the 18th. What, do you think we're going to allow someone such as yourself to go around, continuing to commit blasphemy, spewing your lies to all these people? No, that's why I took your life's work. So what did you do? You evidently petitioned the SWO officials for a return match so you can exact some form of revenge, huh? Oh, and by the way, it's also a casket match set for October 30th, Devil's Night. <laughs> but what I have to ask you is don't continue spewing your lies. Don't continue telling these people that this casket match stipulation was your idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell them the truth for once. It was my idea. Now, why on earth would I do something like that? Simple, because that's what we do to those false prophets who commit blasphemy in the eyes of God. So on October 30th, when you meet the toxic king, Rico Hendricks, you're going to find yourself stuffed into the casket. The lid is going to be shut, and you are going to be buried once and for all. And that, as a matter of fact, is why I'm right here in Seven Valleys today. We're right here at Freedom Soul Cemetery, so I can select a very appropriate but unremarkable burial plot for you, for an unremarkable individual who will be forgotten, such as yourself. Oh, but let's get back to the Book of A. So you demanded that I return that to you on Devil's Night, October the 30th, huh? Well, I have to ask you this. What says that the Book of Ace is actually still intact? Because for all you know, it could have been torn apart. It could have been discarded along with the rest of the refuse. It could have been burned. Or maybe it's actually still intact. I guess we're going to find out on the 30th what happened to it. I assure you, you'll find out. So... The other thing is that you've warned me actually not to open the book until I chose to do with it what I did. Now, do you think I would actually take your life's work without actually being intrigued enough to see what some of your writings were in it? It's interesting, Ace, because I have to ask, what actually caused your current change in demeanor? Because it's clear to me from what you wrote in your book that you thought along the same lines as the toxic king and myself. So I also have to ponder, do people really change? Because these so-called followers of yours would be outraged, absolutely outraged, to learn what you really thought of them, referring to them as blind followers, sheep who you intended to take up to the mountaintop all from your forked tongue. You are a hypocrite, Ace Dallas. And if you do in fact have a newfound outlook, have you even bothered seeking penance from those of you who you have wronged in the past? That's how gullible you people are. Because you are so easy to forgive when he has done no such thing, even worthy of your forgiveness. Think about it. What has he done to earn your forgiveness? And all of a sudden, you're coming to the SWO events, cheering him on. For what reason? At least the toxic king and I, as the two chosen ones, tell you the truth. Even as difficult as it may be for you to hear, but the world is indeed going to end. We are approaching the end times. 
and it will happen by way of the apocalypse. And there's absolutely nothing that you can do to prevent it from happening. But fear not, because on Devil's Night, October the 30th, the swift hand of God will rush to strike down the false prophet from spewing any more of his lies. Your past, almighty Reverend Ace Dallas, will in fact come back to haunt you. And you will be buried for good.